Yeah. Right. right then, ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to you and I radio live from Nostar. Apologies for the late delay. If you're listening online, we've had a few technical issues, technology, but that's rock and roll. So all we're going to do to catch up on time, because also this evening when we finished at 11 o'clock, we've got our resident DJ who's doing old school jungle and drum and bass. So he starts at 11. That's the Universal Soul Project. So we need to get our asses in gear and get finished before then. So uh, say again. Jungle is massive. Booyaka, booyaka. Yeah, so that'll all be happening later on. So before that, if you want to check out the artists that perform, go to you and I radio, go to the events page, and on the bill this evening, we're going to start with the ever talented John Adams and Mr. Piano. That's all I've been told up and calling. Andy. Andy Piano. Then we're going to follow that up with a new band for you and I radio, Winter Coat. They're quite new, but they're, they're garnering a little bit of a following. And then uh, old friends of well, old friends, good friends of mine, the attics that have come from the valleys, young singer, songwriter, songwriter, upstart, indie pop. But I tell you what, he rocks the joint when he does it. If you, we heard, we had him at Gecko Festival, and uh, he tore the place apart. So we got an amazing lineup tonight. So I'm not going to say much more. All I'll say is, if you guys can come and move forward, you see the yellow and black line. We don't mind if you dance, but please don't step past that line because we're recording everything as we're streaming live. So. You don't just get the exposure this evening, it's for as long as you're on our network. So, can I have a big round of applause please for the first time this evening, Mr. John Adams and Andy Keyes. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry, that's, um, that's all my stuff over there. You can just shut in and move it if you want. All I want is nothing more To hear you now at my door And if I could see your face once more I'd die a happy man I'm sure When you said your last goodbye I died Take my 
my body Take my body And all I want is And all I need is To find somebody Find somebody Like you So my name's John Adams, uh, this is Andy, but I think he's got a new nickname now, we're going to call him Mr. Piano. He said he likes it, so... Yeah, so my name's John Adams, I come from the Valleys also, like the last band, and um, I, I, do, I do lots of gigs, so I don't get very nervous very often now, but um, I'd done a gig about two years ago, and I, and I got really, really nervous, and I couldn't, I couldn't think why. And the main reason I've put it down to is that it was a mirror in front of me, and you can watch yourself, and you can judge yourself. And I've realised that I'm in the same situation. It's horrible. It's like listening to yourself back live. Mm. It's horrible. So yeah. So this is um, this is one of my own songs. I uh, it's called Couldn't Get It Right. I feel like I go through life, and um, as human beings, we've got these benchmarks that it, if we're successful at these benchmarks, then we'll be happy. Um, like sort of like GCSEs and finding a girl and getting married and all that type of thing. And I always feel like I keep getting these benchmarks wrong, and sometimes I feel unhappy about it, but. Sometimes when I reflect, I think, despite the benchmark problem, I'm quite happy. Must be doing something right, because I get to just play music for a living. And uh, so yeah, this is what this song's about. Does anyone relate? Does anyone keep effing things up? We can't swear, because we live. We never know who's watching this time of night. Yeah, we got, we got a lady here that keeps messing things up. It's okay. It's okay. I'm sure you're doing just fine. And it goes like this. I'm handing out advice now. This is like, it's like going to church, plus a gig. When I kiss your lips, I taste a question mark The answer's tattooed on my heart Just couldn't get it right there's nothing wrong to put my finger on We at the place where love comes from Just couldn't get it right It only goes to show The books can teach us everything we need to know When the last piece of the puzzle makes it whole I just couldn't get it right Stuck with me despite all of my flaws I 
hope I realize that when I'm old, I must have done something right. Some new faces. Hello. Hello. I might, it might be loud. Oh, we go. We shall come around. Shall come around. Nessie. Nessie level R. Nessie level R. Whatever that means. <laughs> we are in North Star, so we should expect a little bit of Welsh language. So I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna do a song of mine that was my last single when I was younger. Tell me if anyone else used to do this. We used to pick dandelions and we blow the seeds and we make a wish. Did anyone do that? No, not many. Maybe, maybe it was a valley thing. Maybe the Arctic spies will know. We didn't have a lot to play with up there. The rope thing was probably broke, so we thought we'd do some dandy lens. And um, so my father used to tell me not to pick them because you'll pee the bed. That's what he used to tell me. But um, I remember peeing the bed and I hadn't picked a dandelion for ages, so, so I don't think that's true. But I, but, I think, but I think the wish is, I wish to be happy. And as my last song said, I am. So, so I wrote a song called Dandelion Wishes based on, based on that you make a wish and hopefully it'll come true. And um, I'm getting married in December. Can I have a whoop for that? <laughs> Ten grand that whoop cost me. He always mouths that bit, because I say it all the time. And uh, so yeah, so I'm getting married and um, I was sat in a gig and we were on the road and I thought to myself how much of a different person I would be if I hadn't met my fiance. I, um, she's one of them girlfriends that's kind of like really encouraging, bordering on a little bit too pushy. She's one of them girlfriends and uh, I don't think I would be a musician. Hello. We're going to turn that off, are we? Oh, there we are. Didn't I, did I not look very good? Oh, spotlight. So yeah, I don't think I would be a musician if I hadn't met my fiance. She was very encouraging and all that type of thing. And I think if I wasn't a musician, I would be a completely different person. So it's quite powerful, that is. They're really they're only a sort of reflection of the people you meet. And um, I started writing these songs, and, I, and I, I, was, I was a little bit short of lyrics. So I thought I'd ask my fiance um, the same question. How, would, how do you think she would be if she hadn't met myself? And uh, we, were, we were in bed watching some TV. We've been together for eight years, so we don't have sex anymore. And, um, and, I, and I said, babe, I got a question to ask you. And she was on her phone and she just went, eh, what do you want? I said, how do you think your life would be if you hadn't met me? And she said, do you know, I was thinking about this on the way to school the other day. She's not really young, she's a teacher. And um, I thought, I thought, oh great, she'd given it some thought. I thought this is gonna be really deep. This is gonna be, this is gonna be the lyric I'm waiting for. And she said, I've got a particular type of boyfriend, so I'd probably have another boyfriend that's just like you and life would be exactly the same. <laughs> so it's romantic, isn't it? So that's why I'm marrying her, I guess. She's very straight talking. So I wrote a song about her and I popped that in as well. And it goes like this. Your heart whisper, you're the one In the ear of a better man That says he loves you too Would I be me? Would you be you? Everybody's searching for the one Oh, but darling, you for me Everybody's searching for the world Oh, but maybe there's two or even three And how would it be if I never met you Would I have another girl i 
this pain if the wind should change direction in my screamy part for you guys. Was it okay? It's not too loud. It's not deafening or anything. So if you just joined us, my name is John Adams. This is Mr. Piano. And, uh, if you like our music at any point, if you could find us online, that would be great. Um, easiest place to find us is johnadamsmusic.co.uk. I think we, we desperately need to do something happy. Okay. So, so this, is, uh, this is a song I wrote about Andy. It's uh, Mr. Keys. Mr. Mr. Piano, sorry. You wouldn't even know him as Andy, will you? How, how irresponsible are we? This is a song I wrote about Mr. Piano. I'm not sure if it's a universal term, but up in the valleys we've got these men that we call players. Does anyone know what a player is? Yeah. Yeah, do you want to point them out? So Andy here, he was, um, he was quite a good look. Mr. Piano here. He was, um, he, he was, he was quite a good looking chap when he was younger. And um, he used to come to gigs. She's trying to look now to see if it's true. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't song. believe it. <laughs> And he used to come to gigs every week, he'd have a different girlfriend with him. And um, you'd just never see these girls again, they were just there for one week only. And um, every week, he'd, like, like they weren't mingers or anything, he'd turn up with these girls and they were good like eight and a half, nines out of ten. I know that's shallow to give them numbers, I'm just passing on the, what he called them. And um, <laughs> I don't do that, I treat women well. And um, you just, every week I thought, ah, oh, this is the one he'll stick around with, she's not only good looking, but she's funny, she's got a good job. And, and, and he, just, he just threw them all away. And um, now, he's, um, now he's not quite as good looking, and um, he was his 40th birthday last December. And um, he's struggling to find love now, he's ready to settle down, he's put all the shit behind him. And um, his reputation goes before him and he can't get girls anymore, so it's his own fault. So if you've got any players here, take my advice, a little bit more advice. I shouldn't be handing out advice, who the hell do I think I am? But um, yeah, if you are a player, make sure you settle down before Andy did. And um, if you are over 40 and you'd like just a little bit of fun, this is your man. <laughs> so, um, so when I wrote this song, it was really difficult for me because I had to put myself in the position of a male chauvinistic pig. And, um, or Mr. Piano Man, as we like to call him. And, um, so I wrote, it, I wrote it from a sort of first person perspective. And I thought, how would he feel now when he was sort of sitting in the house? And I thought he'd be really, really sad. And um, he'd probably be crying. So I wrote a lyric, Tissues on the Bedroom Floor, and um, for some reason, every time it comes around, people laugh. I have no idea why, so if you could enlighten me at the end, that would be great. Are you okay? I'm okay. I'm just, I just, 
I feel it, I feel it, I feel I should warn people. It's just awful. <laughs> so there's a bit of a, a bit of a sing-along at the end of this song. Um, it's, it's the question that Andy keeps asking himself every day. Where have all the good girls gone? So if you'd like to join in at the end for a sing-along, feel free. Where have all the good girls gone? Whoa. John Adams. Thank you very much for being a wonderful audience. We had a good sing-along in the middle then, and I didn't explain that I was going to do it again. That was my fault. That was my fault too. So yeah, like I said, I'm getting married in December, and every time I mention it, we'll have a whoop. I'm getting married in December. <laughs> Ten grand that whoop cost me. <laughs> and um, whenever I write a new song, there's, a, a, there's like a series of tests that I do to find out if it's any good. So I, I write, whenever I write it, Sometimes I listen back to it the next day and think, oh my god, what was I thinking? That's awful. 
And if it passes that test, then I think, hmm, it's okay. I show the fiance. Two songs left, or you're telling me to F off? No, that's that way. Okay. <laughs> so we've got two songs left. And so the second test is I run it past my fiance. And you know, she's straight as a die. She, even when she wants to tell you that it's, that it's quite good, she just, she, you can just see it, it's written all over her face. So this song, I listened to the next day and I thought, I quite like this. So then I showed my fiance, she said, hmm, I quite like that. And her face looked like she meant it. And um, then the next test is to do it live. And I've had some nice compliments about it. And uh, my fiance has decided that she would like it as her first dance. So, so we can have a little mock first dance. No, we know, we know. <laughs> For her second wedding, probably. So yeah, this is um, this is a song. <laughs> That's his world, you see. Just women, women, women. Line them up. No, actually, um, Andy's recently become single. So if anyone would like to, uh, oh, I I haven't really set this up. I I haven't really set this up right for you, have I? If any women are watching and they think Andy's quite good looking, then he's not a player. I was just making it up for the benefit of the story. Okay. Buy me a drink for that later. Okay, so yeah, so I'm gonna sing this song and um, Kelly, my fiance, she looks about sort of 19, but she's, um, she's turning 30 next year and she's a bit worried that she's growing old. And I'm gonna go to these gigs and I'm gonna see some younger girl and I'm gonna swan off. Player. Player, yeah, because yeah. I hang around with Andy too much. And um, yeah, do you know what, uh, she keeps like sort of trying to look after herself and trying to lose weight and um, I, saw, I saw her internet history the other day, that Botox written on it. and. Um, Oh, he's, he's telling me to do it like this, otherwise you can have one song. So yeah, so she, um, she's a bit worried about getting old, and I might go off her. But I feel like once you sort of fall in love, it gets past all that sort of stuff. And uh, it's, it's a bit deeper. So I wrote a song called The Things That Make You Beautiful. And this is our first dance. On you and... When I hold back the tears, you know the words my heart speaks. And the miles, they're long, but it feels... Like you're standing next to me And no one else When you say how you feel Exposed but not defenseless There's a place with a door No one knows you're trusting me with the key To your insecurities So if you worry that Rest assured it will never change the things that make you beautiful. When the music stops, you're the only one left dancing through the night, out of sight, and the light of the sun helps the moon to shine. And selfishly, incredibly, I'm
Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you so much. So we got one song left, but, but, but quick, okay. Okay, but all my songs are really long, so I'll, fin I'll finish on a high. Give me a cheer after three if you're up for a sing along. One, two, three. Okay, every time I say you, you guys say you, 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 you. I think it's just my fiance. Let's try one more time. You, you, oh that's much better, sounds like owls, in, in mating season, you'll be interested in that. Okay. <laughs> my house in Budapest, my, my hidden treasure chest, my golden grand piano, my Buddha funk steel, oh you, you, I give it all, good holy owls. That I've achieved It may be hard for you to Stop and believe But for you You I give it all A little bit louder Give me your One, two, three Oh, for you You I give it all Good job seeing from my angle. It's a little bit miserable. It's a little bit like this. It's going, oh, for you. Oh, you. Oh, I get it. Like stroppy teenagers. I expect it from these because these are stroppy teenagers. But um, we're all out. We're all having a lovely time. We've got lots of live music coming up. So I want to be a little bit more like this. This is what I want. Oh, for you. Woo! You. Woo! It, it reduces the aging process. Just go for it. You. It may be hard for you to stop and believe it's you. Woo! You, Woo! I give it all. Here we go, all together. One, two, three, all for you. Woo! You, Woo! I give it all. Good job. So if you listen online, go to your online radio, go to the events page, all the links for the artists are there. Apparently a blue thumb means a lot. So do that, we'll be back in a few. Thank you.